Hello viewers, welcome to another video session by Captain. And today, I, Dr. Stella, will be teaching you the tooth numbering system. The reason why this topic becomes extremely important because ultimately you will be using the system to record data and communicate with other dentists. So let's start. The first nomenclature that I'm going to discuss is the symbolic system, which was given by Adolf Zygmondi in year 1861 and was modified from primary dentition in year 1874 and independently Palmer in year 1870 also gave the symbolic system. Therefore, this system, your symbolic system is also known as Zygmondi Palmer system or simply your Palmer system. So as you can see, I have drawn your dentition or your set of teeth. In this system, that is your symbolic system, your dentition is divided into quadrant. That is four parts by two lines. Number one, this line which divides your teeth into those of the upper arch and those of the lower arch. And second is your mid sagittal plane which divides into the left and right side. So when you're looking at the patient, this is the right side of the patient, while this is the left side. Now in this system, start numbering from the inside of the quadrants. That is, we number from the central incisor and move outside towards the third molar. So for permanent addition, here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay? We use numbers in case of permanent dentition. While in case of the primary dentition, when we have only five teeth in each quadrant, alphabets are used. That is A, B, C, D and E. So in, to summarize, we use 1 to 8 for your permanent dentition and A to E for your primary dentition. The reason why this system is known as symbolic is because, for example, this is your upper right quadrant. This is your upper left quadrant, your lower left and your lower right quadrant. So when I have to denote or number your central incisor from the upper right arch, as I told you, number one will be there. So for your upper right central incisor, that is this tooth, I already told you we have the number one. So number one. Now to signify that it is from the upper right quadrant, I will draw this bracket over here. That is this part of the quadrant. Your upper right. Okay. Now similarly for your upper left. Suppose lateral incisor. I will use 2 is the number for the lateral incisor. While for the upper left I will write it like this. So if this is a symbol or your bracket. It denotes that particular part of the quadrant that has been divided. So, in year 1947, the American Dental Association, they recommended this as the numbering of choice. But I think you have got the gist. Because this is very difficult to enter in the keyboard or for digital interpretation, in 1968, ADA recommended the universal numbering system as the numbering system of choice, which I'll be discussing now. Now, in case of a universal numbering system, each and every tooth has its own unique number and no symbols are used. Therefore, it is much easier to record digitally and there is no confusion. So, there is a direction that is followed here. It starts from the third molar of your upper right quadrant to your central incisor. From the central incisor of your upper left quadrant to the third molar. Then, we go down to the third molar of the lower left quadrant. And then we move all the way here to the third molar of your lower right quadrant. So this is the direction that is followed. Now as I told, each and every tooth has its own unique number. So I start numbering from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So as you know, I have drawn the whole set of teeth, that is a 32 set of teeth. So, we have, we have numbered from 1 to 32 in case of the permanent addition, 
Why in case of primary dentition, where as I told you, we have only five teeth in each quadrant, the direction remains the same. But now alphabets are used and they will be from A to T. Same direction. This is your universal system. Now the third and final system which I will be talking about is the FDI system. Now this system has been approved by WHO and other organizations like International Association of Dental Research. So this is basically a two digit system. For example, when I write one, two. Now remember the two digits in this number are pronounced separately. That is one, two, not twelve. So the first digit here, they denote the quadrant. While the second digit is your tooth number. Okay. So I mentioned a direction in the previous system. So same direction is followed for quadrant itself. That is this one. So your upper right becomes the first quadrant. Your upper left is the second quadrant. Your lower left is the third. While your lower right is the fourth quadrant. So this is a quadrant number 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the second digit is the tooth number. So if you remember in the first Palmer system or you see our symbolic system. We started numbering tooth from the inside of the quadrants. That is we move from the central incisor towards the molar. Same thing is followed here. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So when I say 1, 2, now you can easily make out. This is your first quadrant. The second tooth in the quadrant is your lateral incisor. Therefore, 1, 2 denotes your upper right lateral incisor. Now in case of your primary dentition, here no alphabets are followed. The quadrant, only the first or the quadrant number is changed. In case of the primary teeth, the quadrants are numbered from 5 to 8. So this is your quadrant number. While the tooth are numbered, that is again we have 5 teeth. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, when I say 5, 5, it is the primary tooth of your upper right second molar okay now to summarize all these three systems i'll be taking a common example so let's take this example your upper right canine okay first system is your palmer system your symbolic system right we have a tooth number and we have brackets to draw so in case of your upper right canine canine is the third tooth so this is a number and now the symbol will be like this. This is your quadrant. This is your upper right quadrant. So this is your upper right canine denoted in your palmar system. Now in case of your universal system. As I said each and every tooth has its own unique number. So in universal system your upper right canine will be denoted by number 6. Again I will show you how. We started from this direction. Okay, so when I start numbering from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, this is your canine. So number 6 is for your upper right canine. Now the third system is your FDI system, right? Two digit system. Now I know that the upper right quadrant is noted by number 1. We have two digits, your number 1. Now your second digit will be the tooth number just like in the Palmer system. So canine is the third tooth. So, 1, 3 becomes the notation in the FDI system. So, I hope you have understood all these three numbering systems. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the section below.